we are constantly looking at our program and thinking, what does the leader of tomorrow look like? Not just the orthodox leader of tomorrow, but the greatest leader of tomorrow, and how do we get our students to be that leader? What do they need? What can we provide for them? Our world, our community are seeking spiritual leaders, and women need the confidence and the knowledge to be able to serve those needs. In our commitment to excellence, we are growing our faculty. We are increasing our assessments, making sure that our students have a deep facility with text, with Gemara, with Halakha, that they are getting the highest level of leadership training and pastoral counseling. At Yeshivat Maharat, I grew into a leader. Once I started to grow there and incubate there, I realized that there were so many parts of both my learning life, my spiritual leadership life, my community building life that weren't being realized. Halacha in Action is a new fellowship that we're starting for Maharat alumni. And we're bringing together 13 Maharat alumni who are going to learn about the laws of Jewish marriage and divorce so that we can serve our communities better. You said so beautifully that you could just do this forever. We want our students to be experts and compassionate guides to help women navigate these really difficult situations. Um, and that's what I think Maharat really focused on. It was always about a holistic approach of how do you look at the entire situation and how do you look at the entire person? What does this person really need from you? What are the consequences of your actions? Part of what makes the learning at Yeshivat Marat special is that it's the Lmod al Manat Lalamed. It's learning for the sake of teaching. Torah Lishma is beautiful and wonderful and can be uplifting. But when you're learning for the sake of teaching your community, then that learning takes on a different kind of power and depth. You can really create the orthodoxy of the 21st century, and there's nowhere else you can do that.